I was curious if Akina Solar had a deal worked out with the solar manufacturer to get discounted prices for their solar panels. It's a question I asked Eric Bowman, regional sales manager of Akina Solar. Well, there's a lot of things that affect panel costs, you know, volume, um, quality, there, there are a lot of components to it. We actually are the only solar integrator that has developed our own proprietary panel. So we outsource the manufacturing of that to SunTech, which uh, at the end of this year they're going to be the largest manufacturer of panels in the world. But they only make our on-delay panel system for Akina and Akina only. It's our patent, our panel. Nobody else can source the panel or install the panel in the United States. So because of that, um, although we are a very large solar integrator, one of the largest, and we're publicly held, we're on NASDAQ, uh, we, because we only sell that one type of panel to resident, for residential applications, our volume isn't like a Sharp or a BP that might sell to multiple brokers of panels across the United States. Um, but we, we are extremely competitive when it comes to cost and certainly value proposition of reliability, aesthetics and price. You know, we're extremely competitive and certainly our clients get a win all the time. A small mock-up of the Andelay panel. The biggest difference you're going to see between the Andelay panel and any other panel that's been installed in the last 30 years, to include everything that's being installed today, a standard panel system has aluminum racking, and then a non-structural panel sits on top of that, and then the wires are connected together, and then there's a perimeter grounding system that has to go around. So what we've done, you know, our clients, we've got over 2,000 installations in the last five years for residential systems. You're going to see that they wanted something that looked a little bit better and had a higher reliability over time. And what we've done is to integrate the actual aluminum racking is built right into the module. So the module itself now is structural, therefore you do not need any alu extra aluminum racking. Um, what we've done is we take this turnbuckle, we put the turnbuckle in the top, put another one in the bottom, and this is obviously a small rendition of a panel, a standard panel is three foot by five foot. And then you take the other module and you snap it together. You tighten up the turnbuckle and that draws the panels together so there's only one eighth of an inch gap. Now you have a structural connection at the top and the bottom and you also have redundant grounding because you have a grounding a conduit here, grounding at the top and so that gives us greater reliability, less chance of gr uh, ground faults um, and it also looks a lot better because once these are finally installed, it's a little easier to show that. There's only an eighth of an inch gap in between and it sits on the roof, flush with the roof, and that's the only way we'll install them because we don't put the racking systems on there. And, uh, you know, it's been a big winner. I'd say everybody who's purchased a system in Colorado has done it either for the aesthetics or the reliability. And uh, it's one of the few non-commoditized panels on the market.